Twisting Wounds is an S-tier mutator here in Remnant 2, one of the best in the game because it allows you to do additional damage to bleeding targets, and there are great bleed builds out there. When you level it all the way up to level 10, you can do up to 20% additional damage to bleeding targets, and that does stack with other damage buffs in your build. I'm going to show you how to get it. Getting this thing is an absolute pain in the butt. So for me, I had to roll Morrow Parish over 20 times to get what I needed. Essentially what you need to do is go into adventure mode or if you get lucky enough in campaign, what you need to do is load up adventure mode here on Lasam, and you want to be starting at Morrow Parish to save yourself time because Morrow Parish always starts with a dungeon nearby at the starting point that has a chance to be one of the two that we need. We need either the Butcher's Quarter or we need Cotton's Kill. You'll know that you're in the right area if you load up Morrow Parish, you run past the gate of the asylum which is locked, and stick to the left. Always stick to the left uh, in terms of the routes that you can take. Ultimately, you'll either get an exclamation point door or a dungeon off to the side that will be, uh, it'll have buildings that are on fire near it. And that's how you know you've got a pretty good chance of being what you need it to be. There are three dungeons that can have the fiery buildings outside of them, and two of them are the ones that we want, one of them is not. So chances are pretty good that you're gonna get either Cotton's Kiln or the Butcher's Quarter. So I'm just running past all the ads, and then here you go. You see it? The buildings are on fire. That lets us know there's a pretty good chance that we're about to get what we need. And sure enough, we load through the door, and here we are in Cotton's Kiln, one of the two dungeons where we can possibly get the mini-boss that we're looking for. Now you're going to make your way through Cotton's Kiln, and you want to stick to the outskirts. And what you're really looking for, let me show you this on the map, what you're looking for is a broken line. You see how the outskirts of the map is a solid line? And right here, there's a little break in it. See that little break in the wall on the mini map? That is a universal sign in this game that there is something there that is not yet revealed. So there's more to the map there, but it won't reveal itself in your mini map until you go through, okay? So. Uh, usually this is uh, down a set of a flight of steps or something uh, before it takes you to this. And there are a couple of other instances that can spawn, like other um, little side objectives that can spawn in both Cotton's Kiln and in the Butcher's Quarter that are not the one we're looking for. The one we're looking for will specifically have a hole for us to drop down into. There are others that you'll slide through that, that gate that I just did, you'll slide through there. But then it'll have you start climbing up onto the rooftops. That's a completely separate encounter. There's another one that's going to be a burning building. That's a separate thing entirely as well that will take you to a graveyard. What we need is a hole that will take us down into like these sewers. That's what we're looking for. I was super unlucky. I, it took me, like I said, over 20 rolls to get what I was looking for, to get this specific encounter. So hopefully you have better luck than I did because this literally took me hours. So you're going to drop down into the hole. Crouch and walk under this grate here. There's going to be a ring in one of these sewers for you to grab as well. And then here we have a little jumping puzzle of sorts. I just go to the right here and line myself up with the bottom beam and just full send it. Climb up into the hole here. Go to your left. You're going to vault the wall. And when you drop down, there's going to be a... Uh, this is a very close quarters fight. So I'm going to be using the nebula. Uh, to uh, basically apply damage over time. You have to pull the lever and it's gonna spawn Gorge. See him coming? Like a big old piggy pig. And I got unlucky in this tight quarters. I also got minions to roll. <laughs> so that was rather unfortunate. But uh, I'm just gonna full send on just applying as much damage over time as possible on this guy. I know I've got my... Uh, my ability on my challenger to revive myself so i'm just gonna swing away and let him take me down once and he's already almost dead luckily i'll roll out of here a little bit shoot firestorm in the corner and finish him off and when he dies there you go twisting wounds you got your mutator it is a pain in the butt to get absolute pain i hope you have much better luck than i did getting this event to spawn I don't know if it has a low rate or if I was just very unlucky, but I hope that uh, your process is a lot less painful than mine was. Hey, good luck on this. Get it. It's an integral part to a lot of bleed builds out there right now, including mine. I just posted a video on a bleed build, which is pretty chef's kiss. So fun to play with. All right, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.